Welcome to another video from Snopbots. What if I told you that artificial intelligence has already changed your life, forever? Not in 10 years, not in the future, but right now, and most people haven't even noticed. You wake up, check your phone, scroll TikTok, ask Alexa the weather, watch YouTube, apply for jobs, use Google, all of it, silently filtered, personalized, manipulated by AI. This is no longer fiction, this is now, and it's not just helping us, it's replacing us. Stay with me, because by the end of this video, you'll never look at technology the same way again. Listen closely. They said AI would help you work faster. They didn't say it would take your job. In 2023, over 300 million jobs were projected to be impacted by AI. Writers, designers, coders, assistants, replaced in part or entirely by lines of machine-generated code. Freelancers and creatives. Freelancers are quietly being erased. One prompt in ChatGPT now does the work of five copywriters. Entire websites, brand slogans, even video scripts, automated at a fraction of the cost. Programmers and developers. Designers are under siege. Mid-Journey, DALI, Leonardo AI, tools that generate logos, characters, or even full ad campaigns instantly. Why pay a designer 1,000 pounds when AI does it for free? Think your coding job is safe? Think again. GitHub Copilot now auto writes entire blocks of code. AI-based tools are launching full-stack applications. No engineer needed. We used to say learn to code. Now, machines are learning faster than we ever did. Admin, customer service, and assistance. Virtual assistants, email responders, calendar organizers. In 2025, your boss might be scheduling meetings with an AI and not even know it. Customer support, mostly chatbots now, and not the clunky kind. The new generation sounds more human than most of us do on a Monday morning. Hollywood's quiet crisis. Hollywood was just the beginning. Actors, writers, even voice artists all facing the same question. What happens when I can be cloned, scripted, or replaced by a machine? The silent shift. And here's the twist. This isn't the future. This is already happening. Thousands of companies worldwide have already integrated AI to reduce headcount, speed up workflows, or remove human error. But the real danger isn't that AI is coming for your job, it's that it already has. Pay attention. You think you're making your own choices. What to watch, what to buy, who to trust, but you're not. Behind every scroll, click, and tap, AI is deciding for you. The Invisible Puppet Master. Every major platform, YouTube, TikTok, Netflix, Instagram, Amazon, is powered by AI algorithms designed to predict what you'll engage with next. But it's not just about prediction, it's about manipulation. AI doesn't just guess your preferences, it shapes them. The Addiction Engine. These algorithms are optimized for one thing, attention, and the longer they have it, the more money they make. Dopamine, FOMO, rage clicks, shock content, AI knows exactly what triggers you, and it's not afraid to use it. Shopping or being shaped. Every product you see, every ad you accidentally clicked, every impulse buy, guided by AI. You didn't decide to want that product, AI decided it for you, based on data you never even knew you gave away. Echo chambers and polarization. AI doesn't care about truth, it cares about engagement. And controversy, that's addictive. That's how people get radicalized without realizing it. From fitness videos to conspiracy theories in three weeks, all thanks to an algorithm optimizing for time watched. AI in news, politics, and reality. It's not just products and playlists. AI is beginning to control narratives. News apps decide what headlines you see. Social media decides which opinions get amplified and generative AI, it can write fake articles faster than fact-checkers can keep up. The Filtered World We now live in a filtered world, curated by AI, packaged for dopamine, delivered by algorithm. The question isn't, what are you seeing? It's, what are you not seeing? Because in this game of attention, you're not the player, you're the product. This is critical. You used to be able to trust what you saw, not anymore. Because now, Reality can be manufactured. The deepfake revolution. Deepfakes are no longer novelty tech, they're weapons. 
With a single image and a few minutes of audio, AI can replicate a human face and voice so convincingly, it's indistinguishable to the untrained eye. We've entered the era of misinformation on demand. AI-generated influencers. They look real, they sound real, they even have followers, sponsorships, personalities. But they don't exist. AI-generated influencers are here, and in some cases, they're outperforming real humans. Fake reviews, fake ads, fake content. Everywhere you look online, someone is lying, and that someone is usually a bot. Fake reviews, auto-generated product descriptions, deep fake video testimonials. In 2025, trust has become a luxury because anything digital can be faked. Virtual people in real jobs. Corporations are now using AI avatars as digital employees, front of house assistants, spokespersons, even training presenters. Why pay a real person when an AI avatar works 24 7 never gets sick, and always says the right thing? Collapse of trust. This isn't just about tricks and tools, this is about trust. When you can't trust video, audio, text, or even a photo, what's left? We are heading into a world where truth is optional, where belief is bought, where reality is programmable. The end of proof? The implications are devastating. Journalism, law, politics, education, every institution built on proof is now at risk. The scariest thing about fake content is how real it feels. This matters. The next war won't start with tanks or troops. It will begin with data. Because in the race for global dominance, AI is already on the battlefield. Autonomous weapons. Across the world, militaries are developing autonomous systems. Drones that can identify, track, and engage targets without human oversight. No emotion, no hesitation, just code with a kill switch. AI and military strategy. AI isn't just fighting wars, it's planning them. Strategic simulations, real-time threat analysis, optimized logistics, cyber defense, and satellite surveillance, all increasingly run by machine learning models. Decisions that once took weeks, now take seconds. Psychological warfare. AI isn't just fighting wars, it's planning them. Strategic simulations, real-time threat analysis, optimized logistics, cyber defense, and satellite surveillance, all increasingly run by machine learning models. Decisions that once took weeks, now take seconds. Psychological warfare. But some battles are fought in the mind. AI can now generate propaganda faster than humans can refute it. Fake comments, fake news, fake movements, all driven by algorithms trained to provoke emotion, amplify division, and erode trust. This isn't theory, this is already happening. Who really controls the AI? Here's the uncomfortable truth. Governments aren't the only ones developing AI. Private companies with little regulation and massive computing power are now shaping the future of warfare, economics, and global power behind closed doors. We're not just racing against rival nations, we're racing against ourselves. The risk of a black box war. As AI systems become more complex, their decision-making becomes opaque. We no longer understand how they reach conclusions. We just trust them. This is what experts call the black box problem. What happens when the machine makes the wrong decision? And no one can explain why. From sci-fi to doctrine, the age of AI war isn't coming. It's already doctrine. In the Pentagon, in Beijing, in Moscow, AI is now considered a strategic asset, as important as nukes, oil, or water. The question is not if AI will be used in war, but whether humans will still be in control when it is. This is urgent. They told us AI would free us to do more meaningful work. Instead, it made millions of us obsolete. Because the truth is this, AI doesn't just automate tasks, it automates entire industries. Mass displacement. Truck drivers replaced by self-driving lorries, call centers silenced by chatbots, bank tellers, editors, translators, gone or going. Some experts say 40% of current jobs could vanish by 2030, others say that's optimistic. Broken promises of reskilling. They say just learn to code, but how do you outrun a machine that codes faster than you ever could? 
We're trying to train people for jobs that no longer exist by the time they graduate. Collapse of traditional work. The very idea of work is shifting from stable careers to unstable gigs. AI is making everything on demand, not just services, but people. And when humans are just another subscription service, what happens to stability, dignity, or purpose? Universal basic income lifeline or illusion? Some propose universal basic income, a flat wage for everyone regardless of work. It sounds simple, fair, revolutionary. But who pays for it? And if AI holds the wealth, will humans forever depend on the systems that replace them? AI's impact on the developing world. In wealthy nations, AI takes office jobs. In developing countries, it threatens livelihoods that haven't even fully matured. AI doesn't care about borders. It replaces wherever it can optimize. And when that happens globally, the economic fallout becomes planetary. Rethinking the meaning of work. But maybe there's a deeper question. If machines can do all the labor, then what is our role? Are we meant to work or to create, to lead, to feel? A crisis of purpose. Without work, many lose identity. Without purpose, nations lose direction. But perhaps this crisis could also be an opportunity to rebuild meaning, to redefine success, to stop being gears in the system and become something more human. Pause and reflect. What happens when AI doesn't just support human intelligence, but surpasses it? We're not just accelerating into the future. We're bending the fabric of reality itself. The rise of AGI. Right now, AI is narrow, powerful, but focused. But what if it could think across domains like a human? What if it could reason, reflect, even create meaning? Some say AGI is 50 years away. Others say it's already waking up. From intelligence to consciousness, the lines are blurring between simulation and sentience. We're building machines that learn, evolve, adapt. What happens when they ask the same questions we do? Are we creating tools or new life forms? Human AI merging the next species? Elon Musk calls it the neural lace, a way to merge our brains with AI. This isn't sci-fi. Brain-computer interfaces are already in human trials. Prototypes exist. The first fusions have begun. Digital immortality, memory upload, thought simulation, digital consciousness. We're approaching the unthinkable, the possibility of living on in code forever. Is that immortality or the end of what it means to be alive? Quantum plus AI equal sign the unknown. Now imagine AI on a quantum processor, a machine that doesn't think linearly, but infinitely. The discoveries, the dangers, the power, we're unlocking forces we barely understand and may never fully control. The last human question. Maybe the biggest question isn't what AI will become, but what we will become with it. Will we fight it, fuse with it, be guided by it, or be left behind? The next five years may define the next 500. We're not just shaping machines. We're rewriting the blueprint of intelligence, existence, and humanity. Consider this. We've seen the rise. We've felt the shift. We've stood on the edge of something we don't fully understand. AI isn't coming. It's here. It's shaping the world, the economy, the battlefield, the truth itself, and whether we like it or not, it's shaping us. Beyond the hype, beneath the fear, it's easy to get caught in the hype or to drown in fear, but AI is not a monster. It's a mirror. It reflects our values, our biases, our potential, and our flaws. What kind of future will we build? We still have a choice to build systems that empower, not enslave, to use intelligence not just for profit, but for progress. Because the most dangerous thing about AI isn't what it can do. It's what we let it do while we look away. You are not powerless. You are not powerless. Your voice still matters. Your choices still shape the future. Learn, question, create, stay human, even when the machines can do everything else. Final thoughts. We are the first generation to build something smarter than ourselves, and maybe the last to decide what happens next. This isn't about fearing AI. 
It's about facing what it reveals. About us. Comment below. Are we headed for salvation or disaster? Like, subscribe, and share this if you believe we need to talk about this now. Before it's too late. Because the quiet AI takeover isn't science fiction. It's already begun. See you in the next video.